car or what? Hi everybody, this is Rao Hellcat. Another quick video for today. I got a guest star here, my son Kelly. What's up? He just came uh, from Atlanta. He works for CNN in Atlanta and he's come and visit his old man for the next uh, 10 days. So uh, today, I'm gonna take him for a ride, for a ride in the Hellcat. Um, I only picked him up at the airport. It was raining. I didn't give him a good ride in the Hellcat yet. In fact, uh, the only time we had a good ride, I think was like maybe 30 minutes ago. He had to, to the go, post office. Yeah, he had to go to the post office, but then on the way back from the post office, I took him around the block on 287. So we went on the off-ramp, the on-ramp, hit the, uh, the off-ramp for about uh, 75. And then when we went on to 287, <laughs> Oh man, I can't really say how fast we were going, but it was fast. <laughs> Three digits. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was on the on ramp, kind of not not within traffic. We we slowed down as soon as we hit the traffic. So uh, now we're going to go to Mexico, uh, and uh, we're going to do some drive bys. I don't know if I'll get be able to use launch control or not. It all depends on the uh, the surface of the road that we're going to be going to in Mexico. Uh, so we'll just see what happens. So uh, I guess without further ado, we're going to have some fun in the Hellcat. On our way to Mexico. Tequila. Tequila? Yeah, there's tequila in Mexico. <laughs> Entering Mexico. It's a nice little strip. Yep, that's from him. Right when he accelerated. How was that? That's from you. I know. <laughs> how was it? I was about to ask you the same thing. How was that? It was good. I barely spun the tires. Barely. I added sound. But that was loud as it sounded great. Alright. Wanna try lunch control? What? I'm gonna try launch control. What's that? I've never tried it before. <laughs> It's the last shot at it and then we'll evaluate later. Launch. So 
launch, press brake, going at 5 full throttle, okay? That time it worked. That time it worked. However, I think that I do better without using launch control. I think I just should do a better job launching this thing by feel. It's already at a dead stop. I don't think I need the extra RPMs because what it's been doing is, even with that 1500, it's just basically, um, how should I say it? That extra 1500 does nothing because I'm always over revving it as it is, meaning that the tires are already losing grip. I'd rather have that feel. So, I don't know what the performance pages say. Let's take a look. Ah, zero to 60, 5.2. All right, so that seems to be my best time with this car, with these tires. I don't think you can do any better. And it sucks because this car is capable of being in the threes. But with these tires, I don't think it's possible. That's a Hellcat. That looks good. Zero to sixty sucks though. Zero to sixty that time was five point six. And when we did the time before that, it was 5.2. All right, it's Kelly's first time driving the Hell Kitty. Okay. All right, zero. Here we go. You can hit our. Sixty's good. Ah, that was cool. All right, there you go. How did it feel? You feeling it, but not being behind the wheel. Ah, uh, it's scary. That's how I feel every time you drive, but it's awesome. You're too close to the curb to the hill. So how much of the gas did you actually do? Uh, since I don't know what floor it means, I don't know how far down I went. Yeah, but you went down and you couldn't, like, I thought that was the max that you should have hit it. Yeah, and that's, I didn't go down all the way. Exactly. And I, and I heard the wind, and then I actually felt it. Since I was the one controlling it, that was cool. Here's a question for you. So you have a Mercedes that you did not buy. You had a Jeep that you did not buy. So when it comes time for you to buy your own vehicle, what vehicle would you buy? Uh, you, you know it already. Um, I don't. But the viewers need to know. Oh, true, true. Um, well, I would buy a vehicle for a different reason. For probably different from all your viewers. I would probably want like an electric car, like a Tesla, because I, I just hate paying for gas in general. But the Tesla that I could afford, it wouldn't be a standard of how awesome this would be. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I would, I would do. Yeah, let's switch. Yep, let's switch. Thanks for letting me drive it. All right, you're welcome. Not a lot of dads would do that, probably. I wanted you to experience at least once before you went home. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I did. When you are back to Atlanta. Yeah, right, right. That was cool. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I do a smoky burnout now. All right. One, two, three.
just made his own smoke screen. Woo! That was smoky. <laughs> oh my god. You can't see anything behind me. So what'd you think, Kel? That was pretty gnarly. Probably was a lot more fun to be in the car than it was out of it. Well, I never did a, uh, a burnout in this car before. Well, I, I broke the I broke the tires cherry today. You did what again? Broke the tire broke the tires cherry. Yeah, you did. You can't say those tires are new anymore. Yeah, but they still have the yellow lines on them. So I, I got to learn how to use launch control better because. It wasn't what I expected. It wasn't what I had seen on the videos where you, you hit the brake and you hit the gas, right? And when you hit the gas, the car's not supposed to start spinning the tires. And it just seemed like the brakes weren't working. Oh, there's an SRT 392. That's nice. Challenger. That's a nice car. Um, yeah, it didn't... Uh, it, I thought it would have been like you hit the gas. You hit, I mean, you hit the brake, you hit the gas. And then the car's supposed to... Uh, not go until you let off the brake and the car started spinning the tires then so I, I gotta practice but let's see it's got 700 miles on it now so uh, the car was designed not to use able to use launch control until it hit 500 miles and now that I've finally I didn't use it when it hit five I didn't use it when it hit six and then when it finally hit 756 miles um, I finally used it for the first time today. You were the witness. And we brought the, the YouTubers along for, uh, my subscribers along for the ride. Yep. All right, so I guess the next time we do this, uh, between now, like when we post this video and the next time I do it, I wanna hear from uh, my my YouTuber buddies. Uh, SRT Motion, if you're watching this, Driveway Demons, if you're watching this, Family Cruising, if you're watching this. Um, Mod to Fame, if you're watching this, I would appreciate any tips that you might have. Uh, well, Mod to Fame, I know that Cheapo Kitty can't use launch control because it's a stick shift, but nonetheless, anyone, I think your Porsche has launch control. So anyone that has used launch control, um, what are the tips? Now, I haven't even, you know what I didn't do too? Because I think the other part of launch control is you're supposed to um, set the RPMs. I'm almost positive the RPMs are way too high uh, for launch control. I think the recommendation was 1,500 to 2,000 RPMs, and I have no idea what the setting is. I think this factory setting is like 3,000, so that could be the other reason why. So I'll have to check that. Um, you know what? Let's see. Can we check it now? Let's see performance pages. Uh, so last... Still, I get the 5.40 to 60 because I let off the gas. So, the eighth mile last was 14.5, but that doesn't really count. Um, I think the eighth mile, the best eighth mile I had was when we launched from uh, that off ramp onto 287. Uh, let's see. Timers, gauges, G Force Dyno. Just the performance pages. Yeah, it was at 1500. Oh, I know what I did wrong. You're supposed to go only to 1500. And I think I went exceeded that. That could be the reason. And shift light, I have a shift light at 5,000 RPMs. Interesting. All right, well, the launch control range is between 1000 and 3000. And it was already preset at 1500. So I think what I did wrong was I, my RPMs were way higher than that. But I think the part of the launch control too is so you don't spin the tires. And I think I went the first time with the intention of using the launch control as it's supposed to be launched without spinning. And then I was just having too much fun. I was getting into spinning the tires. And then finally on the last time I said, oh, I know how to do this now. You don't even have to hit too much brake to get the tires to spin. So you hit the brake, get the tires spinning, get it into second gear, and then as they're spinning, then you let off the brake, and then you just glide with your burn on. I thought that lady with the dress was going to say something. Did she say anything? She didn't say anything, but she definitely went like this when the smoke oh. went through her. Oh, uh, well. 
You picked a bad time to walk down the street, Lucille. Sorry. If you're watching this, sorry. Are you happy with your performance of, of your new car, your new Hellcat? Am I happy with what we just did today? Well, I mean, every day is going to be a learning experience. I'm getting to know the car a little bit better today. Um, like I said, uh, it's the first time I've launched it where I've actually broken traction and put marks on the road. I've never done that before. First time I've ever used launch control. First time I ever did a smoky burnout with the car. So, I mean, it's a step in the right direction. Uh, I think that with these tires, though, um, I think it's a waste of money to continually just burn them out. Uh, I, I'm probably better off getting maybe summer tires that are perhaps a little bit more sticky and saving these for the winter time because these are all season tires and they're good in the snow from what I heard uh, but they won't be uh, that good in the snow if I burn all the uh, the tread off the tires so yeah uh, here, here's another thought real quick um, now I think is the time where okay so Corey from Dryway Demons had asked me hey uh, what made you pull the trigger on the 2018 why didn't you wait for the 2019 well of course the one thing I wish I had in the 2019 car, which the 2019 car is going to have, is the uh, the line lock. Because if I had line lock, then the front brakes lock, the rear brakes don't. And when I'm doing those burnouts, I'm not killing my rear brakes. So I wish I had that. Um, everything else, the chiller killer, I, I mean, yeah, that'll uh, help with drag racing, the torque reserve. Yeah, I guess that'll help too with the 0 to 60 and also the, uh, the drag racing. Um, but it's that line lock. I think I wish I had that. So, but if but that here here's the thing though, I wouldn't have been able to have this car for the summer. I wouldn't have been able to do that smoky burnout today. I would have to wait until. I don't even think they're going to be delivering the 2019s until at least October, November. Now, of course, that would have been the perfect time to go drag racing, but. You just never know. Everybody's going to want to mark up the car more. I was able to get a really good price for this car because it was a 2018. There wasn't anything performance-wise that was different between the 18, the 17, and the 16. Um, and I think now that FCA has launched all the new features of the 2019, they're going to be the hotcakes commodity. They're the ones that are not going to get discounted. They're the ones that are going to be maybe marked up over sticker and the 2018s you can get for dealer cost well i paid under dealer cost for this but that's besides the point so that's my thought for uh the difference between this year and last year's car okay well that concludes the video for today i hope you enjoyed it um so we accomplished three things today i had my first shot at doing launch control for the first time uh had my first go at uh, doing a, a burnout. I had like two awesome burnouts. One got recorded, one didn't. But that's my okay. Bad. That's okay. We got like three or four good recorded burnouts, so it all was good. And I think the best part of today was Kelly got to drive the Hellcat today. And it was epic. Yes. Well, what other thoughts you have besides that epic? Uh, I probably want one right around the time when i'm your age i'll get i'll get a hellcat you get a hellcat before but he says he wants the tesla first which is fine it's for the environment and if he gets the ludicrous mode tesla he'll be almost as fast as a hellcat so but hopefully uh, they still make hellcats when you're my age yeah maybe maybe not or i'll just keep this one and i'll hand this one down to you how about that Ooh, yeah yeah. All right. Well, all right. So that concludes the video for today. Again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please uh, subscribe by smashing that subscribe button, hitting that bell notification so you're alerted on more videos from us. And again, uh, I just want to thank you again. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll be saying peace, peace. See you.